What's going on guys? I'm outdoors coming back to another banger video. Today we are doing a little trap dine. I think I got 10 pipe traps to do. Dog proofs. There's little pipes that the coons stick their feet in. And then I got two footholds to do for coyotes. Today we are using Cold Creek Logwood Trap Dye. It says on here, logwood extract is rich. Condensed tannins from red powder is magically turns black and cinnamon in water. Before dyeing traps, the water should be decreased so it's idle and have light coat of rust on them. That's what each trap should have, light coat. So maybe let them sit out in the rain or something. Mine have been sitting in the shop and they're already rusty as hell, that's why I got this. Mix logwood into water before simmering. Traps should be left in simmering water 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna leave them in probably about 20 minutes just because I got so many. One pound, which this pack is one pound, you can find at your local outdoor store where you went to Shields. And it does 36 average size traps. So once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna dump all this in. Then I'm gonna let it simmer, and then I'm gonna put all my traps in here, and then they should be dyed and ready for trapping. So I'm gonna show you guys step by step. I'm gonna go grab the traps now, and I'll show you what we're working with. Another thing I purchased today is a long needed tail stripper. I've needed this thing for a very long time. You guys watched my trapping videos last year. The tails were getting pretty messed up and I was sitting there trimming them off the tail. So I got this, you just stick the tail in there, strips are right down off of there. Another essential tool I'll be using this year for trapping. There's two of my footholds that I'm gonna be doing because I haven't done them yet. And here's all of my dog proofs right here. These I purchased a couple years ago, but they're coated, but all that's wearing off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and die them just to be safe. Look at all that. It's been ripped up from coons. Just beat all the hell. I really like these things. I would recommend if you guys do a lot of coon trapping, using these. But like I said, some of these ain't really too rusty, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do them anyways. Another big thing you guys should do if you guys like to trap, make sure to put tags on your traps so they don't get taken. Here's all my information. Tags are a must when you do trapping. Then over here, I got my stakes, what I stake my traps with. It's just made out of some rebar that I cut with a plasma cutter and then I welded it up, the stick welder. They work perfect, they just stick right in there. These are just bent wire here. Yeah, this is, really what I run. I don't really run that big of a trap line, but this is what I run here. I'm gonna soon dump this powder in. And once I do, you guys will see it, so. I changed my mind, I'm just gonna dump it in right now. Whew, this stuff stinks. Comes in a bag like this. Not really sure where the end's at. Get the whole works. Alright, and just dump it in. For all you new trappers that are gonna be watching this video, the reason why people dye traps is to like cover the scent. So whenever you're handling your traps after you dye them, you should always have gloves on. Just because a lot of animals have really good noses and they can smell this stuff. After I get done dyeing, these are the gloves I wear. These big black gloves that I bought from some trapping boys. But after I get done dying, this is how I'll be handling all my stuff from now on. Like coyotes and stuff, fox, if you're trapping them, it's big to wear gloves, but like coon, I don't think they really care as long as there's food in the trap. I'm gonna spur that now. Make sure you do that. So it all just sits on top of here like Nutella mix, it looks like. Then once it comes to a nice roll and boil, I'm gonna turn it down, get her simmering. And then I'm gonna put the traps in. I got all my traps here. I took a little wire and strung it through all the ends. Rolling pretty good now, so I'm just gonna hopefully they all fit. Oh god, what's going on here? We got a mess. Okay. Alright. Now you just let them soak for 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and you have them out of there. We're in the chicken coop here for a little break while the traps are dying. We got all of our chickens and ducks. <laughs> We're gonna get some eggs. Open her up, Bash. I see three. Ooh! Little 
little bit of feed, a little bit of water in there. Give him a little bit more feed. These are chicken eggs, look at them. Little baby chicken eggs. All right, let's get back and look at those traps. A little mid going update, she's simmering real well. We got another seven minutes here. We're gonna let her simmer here with these traps, take them on five minutes, and we'll be right back with you guys. It's currently 6.05. I'm going to turn off this gas first, so the lines bled out, and turn this off, and then grab my traps here. Let's see the finished product. See how they're black and like charred now? That's what you want. Take them over here. Hopefully I don't start a fire with these hot things. Set them down on the cardboard. Put on my gloves here. Grab my steaks. Pull them all off and lay them out. Close up look at them. Some of them didn't die the greatest, as you can see. That one did, but that one didn't too well. But I'd say it is a overall pretty good job. I mean, for dying traps, they ain't got to be perfect as long as they catch crap. That is how you die traps right there. It's simple. It needs to be done. Unless you're using these dog proofs, these things are like poly coated which that is definitely the way to go. And I didn't do anything with them and I still caught coon and stuff with them, but they can catch anything. I've caught possum in them, a coon, a cat. <laughs> I don't think anything else. Those are the three that normally catch those. I've caught skunk in this, fox, coyote. I've caught it all now. So if you want to catch multiple varieties of animals, definitely go with the footholds here, but Dog proofs, they're reliable. That's definitely a way you can set up a bunch of them up quick. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate all the love you guys have been showing lately. It means a lot to me. Comment down below if you guys are going trapping this year, where you guys are going trapping. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Don't forget to stay happy, people. And we'll see you on the next one. We out. Peace.